I'm really struggling. I'm seen as someone who is really confident. I really thought about whether I should talk about this today because it worries me that I'm doing something that looks bad for my brand. Also know that I am talking about something that so many of my clients struggle with and I'm currently struggling with it and I want to talk about it. It's my complete and utter lack of confidence in myself at the moment. I've built a brand around being confident but I don't feel confident at the moment. I want to talk through what I've done in the past and what I'm doing now, which is the same thing, to break out of it. One of the things I know about confidence is that confidence is not a feeling, it's a muscle. And to use the muscle when you are at your lowest point is when you start to see growth and gains. I start with what's really going on here. I know that we've made massive changes in the way that we run our business. So the boat is turning around and I'm a want everything today person. So that boat is turning around and it's hitting some obstacles. There's some stuff that wasn't planning to come up and it's eroding my confidence that I've made the right decision. It's also making me feel unsupported, not by actually people that really count, but around just external forces, I guess. And so it makes me second guess what I'm doing. I'm going through perimenopause and it's affecting my hormones, so that's affecting me. And we're in a new place, um, learning new things, learning new ground, building new ground. And all those things are really messing with how I feel about myself and how I feel about what I'm doing and my confidence levels about where I'm going. And I'm starting then to be absorbed by seeing everyone else that feels like they're doing so much better than me and it's crippling me. So I start with what's really going on here, I take a look at it, and then I start this process. One. I make sure that I'm kind to myself. I take a few more breaks. I make sure that I do things that food my spirit, like walking and gardening and um, hanging out with my chickens and all those sort of things. Two, I make sure that I really love and care about my existing clients. So I really pour my love and attention to people who've already chosen me. So I make sure that I look after those people. Three, I look at what's bothering me and that lack of confidence and see, is there something I can change that's actually a warning or red flag that I'm going in the wrong direction? And yesterday we changed some stuff because I went, actually, that's not a fit. So that's three. Four, I talk to people I trust, get their feedback, which includes my husband and includes some really good friends and some business colleagues and coaches that I know are going to help me get myself back on track. Five, I then just stay taking action even though I don't feel like it. I push myself to take action. I push myself to put myself forward even though it's the last thing I want to do because it's, my feelings are not facts. And my confidence comes from using the muscle. And if I stop using it, it's gonna atrophy and die. It's suffering, it's injured. To fix it, I need to give it rest and support, but I also need to keep using it. And so I'm gonna use it. And I wanted to share this very long explanation about this. That's probably a bit rambly and a bit, but because I think so many people think maybe it's just me that struggles. But if I can be confident, even I can appear, if I can appear confident and I can grow confidence through trying things and failing and picking myself up again and knowing that I've got something in me that's resilient that can do it, maybe that's the journey I have. That I'm not maybe born as one of those naturally super confident people, but I can grow something that I know my heart did, that my muscles made, my confidence muscles made. And yeah. This is a hard thing for me to share, but I just feel I need to because I think it's very easy to show the highlight reel, the perfection, the, well, my hair's never perfect, but you know, the perfection around showing the success, but my success comes from these moments. This is where the success starts. And so if you're feeling that way, maybe this will help you too.